Hi there, it's Lee here. Welcome to iMind Blocks. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the PCI Express riser or extender. So this is the actual USB version. And what I'm going to explain is just the actual purposes of this actual device, um, what it's used for, how it's used, the benefits of it, etc. So I've got a few other components here as well, a uh, motherboard, which is an old motherboard, and a graphics card. So here are some of the reasons why you might want to be using a PCI Express extender or riser um, setup. So most motherboards have this kind of um, configuration. So this is only a uh, micro ATX board, um, but you get the same principles and concepts from it. So it has a full size uh, 16 times PCI Express connector, and next to it has a one times uh, PCI Express connector. So a lot of boards have a similar sort of setup. So you might have a couple of full size ones and more smaller one times PCI Express connectors. So the problem that you're gonna get is that if you want to build a multi GPU mining rig on a board like this or a similar board, what's gonna happen is you're gonna put your graphics card in the, the main or primary slot here. So I'll just show you uh, this, let's grab this one. So let's say if you just want to use a one single graphics card, you can just pop it in the actual slot and you're going to be fine. It's going to go in there, no problems at all. Uh, but the problem is that when you put in this first uh, GPU, because it's like double si sized, um, it's going to cover up your um, the express slots that are next to the primary slots. So if you put in one GPU here, it's going to block out this slot. And likewise, if you have other GPUs, it's going to basically obscure the other slots. So what that means is that if you have a board, and even if you've got, say, three full slice slots, um, you're only going to be able to accommodate um, a couple of graphics cards. You're not going to be able to get all of the graphics cards um, connected to the actual board itself. So that's where this device uh, comes in, which is the uh, PCI Express riser. So what it allows you to do is connect into the, each of the individual PCI Express slots, but it also kind of gives you an extension away and off the actual board itself. So I'll just show you exactly how this uh, gets set up and how it may be used. So there's a few different components to it. Firstly, you've got the actual PCI Express like baseboard, and this is what is gonna connect to your existing GPUs. So I've just got the one here just to demonstrate, but this is going to plug onto the bottom of our graphics card. So we're just gonna plug it in under here. Uh, we've just got a lock notch there, so we're just gonna move that back. And that goes onto our graphics card. So you can see it's on the actual bottom of the graphics card now. Also, this one's got quite a cool feature. So it's actually got like a bit of a rubber padding underneath as well. So that's good to make sure it's not gonna short out on any other metal contacts. So that's a, a good feature. So that just holds our graphics card up like that. We can then basically mount the graphics card uh, wherever we like. Most people uh, put it onto some kind of a frame um, and you would have seen that in my other videos. So where they're basically kind of um, held up. So that's one part of it. The next part is the, uh, I'll just take it off to just to show you. But on the actual back of the uh, riser baseboard, there is a Molex power connector. So you need to get this powered. Basically it helps power the actual graphics card itself, but it helps um, stop all the actual power being pulled from the actual motherboard itself. So the power input is gonna connect directly to your power supply, and it's gonna take the load off the actual motherboard itself. So it's also provided with a SATA to Molex um, adapter. Um, these are kind of, I don't really rate. I would say that if you're gonna plug in your power supplier to this, just plug it in directly using the Molex connectors. I wouldn't really use these adapters unless you really have to. Um, there's really no point connecting to a SATA then to Molex um, and then to this. If you just have Molex connectors on your uh, power supplier, um, just plug the Molex connectors uh, directly into this. The next part is this uh, cable. So there's different variations of these and I've done videos in the past um, about them. So some used to have like a drop down uh, ribbon cable. So it will just be like a ribbon extension. These newer ones, they run the data via a USB lead like this. So we just plug in the USB lead into the actual connector. Um, I'll just put in the uh, power connector as well, just really to demonstrate how the whole thing sort of works together. It's a bit of a tight fit, uh, as Modex normally is. Get in there. Okay, so we've got our data cable and we've got our power connection. 
I'll just put the GPU back in. So it's going to look a little bit something uh, like this. So now what we have on the actual end of the USB cable is kind of where it's going to connect into the motherboard. So you don't plug this into your USB port, that just, just won't work. What we have is this tiny little PCI Express uh, connector here, and we just plug it into that. So then we've got a PCI Express connector on the end. Now what we can do is we can actually plug this connector into, it doesn't really matter what size the uh, slot is, so it can be a full times uh, 16 times slot, like so. So you, it's uh, perfectly fine to use it like that, just make sure obviously it doesn't wiggle about or anything too much, or we can use it in a one time slot as well, which is what most people will uh, use it for. So just double check uh, with this as well. When you plug it in, make sure you uh, put it in uh, around the right way. It's quite easy to plug it in uh, backwards, uh, like I just did. So make sure it goes the right way. So the little hook notch bit goes over the front of the port, and you will see, uh, just when you line it up, that the uh, the bigger of the connector uh, goes uh, forward and then the notch kind of goes over. So like that, and like I say, you can use it in a one-time slot. You can also, if your motherboard has it, not many do, but if you have like a four times or eight times PCI Express connector, um, you can use this in there as well. So then what you're going to have is... Um, all your graphics cards kind of lined up and then a lot of people build these either with uh, multi-GPU mining rigs so you might have four, five or six GPUs. In some cases maybe even more if your motherboard uh, supports it. And then each one will just go uh, into the actual slot itself and then you'll have basically the cables and banks like one, two, three, four, five, six all lined up nicely and that means that you've got your GPUs off off the board so you can um, you know physically fit them in it also helps out if you've got like a frame or something it's going to help with airflow calling all that kind of stuff so that's um, what the actual cable is used and how it uh, sorry how why and what it's used for okay guys so that just about wraps up this video uh, I just wanted to cover the basics of why to use PCI Express uh, USB risers um, and what they're used for etc so hopefully you found this uh, video useful uh, hopefully you've enjoyed watching it if you have any questions or comments uh, don't hesitate to leave a comment in the comments area below and I'll be sure to get back to you guys and uh, thanks for watching thanks for your support uh, if you like this kind of video, uh, make sure you like and subscribe. I put videos like this out on a regular basis, so uh, I appreciate you uh, uh, staying informed and updated. So till next one, guys, take care.